Okay, how are you all doing? Welcome to the video. Um, we've got some hybrids uh, being delivered, and uh, one is already, I can tell, bright as. So we'll start with this one. Uh, we'll show you. It's an Adams Super. You'll remember these. Got the speed slot in them. Quite a pronounced curve on the face. This one is a... 3 hybrid, 19 degrees, um, super S idea with the variable uh, face uh, thickness with a twin slot. See that that was the start of them. And obviously, we're going to take this to the course test it out. Thought I'd give you a quick um, first view of it. It has a matrix Kujo something. I'm not quite sure what kind of shaft that is. And obviously, um, it plays, I'd say, uh, about as long as a standard hybrid, right? So, for the experiment, going head to head against it on the course. You know, I'm playing one length irons, Cobras, so why not? I said, so we've got the one length Cobra hybrid. Yeah. And it's the speed zone hybrid, cracking shaft on it, recoil. Um, this is a seven iron length hybrid. It weighs. And I will take the head cover off, let you see it. It weighs a lot. It's heavy, which is is good because Cobra and their one length design made sure you're going to get the distance. And on this, it's a 24 degrees equivalent. What they're saying is this will be an equivalent of a five or four iron. And it's got the railer design on the sole with back weighting. It looks absolutely, A, it looks compact, B, uh, let me stand up with these two to show you the above view of them. It sits like an iron, obviously designed to be like an iron, one length, it's designed to be more forgiving and easier to hit. But you know men will lose any distance. It's a lot more upright. I'd say the lie angle is like a 7 iron as well as the length of a 7 iron. I'll need to check that on the stats when we have it out in the course. So we're going to put this head to head with the Adams. Super head to head. And we're going to, we're going to see for distance and we're going to see for accuracy. And we're also going to look at like easy, easy use. Obviously, there'll be those of you out there that never really went for the white heads. Um, but a lot of people like them because they're easier to line up. The Cobra has got quite a small hitting area, but you can see at the back, it's got these little lines, which again, aid it for lining up. And the face being white on a black background, this is like white with a black background. So, both of them have their pros and cons. We'll be putting these out on the golf course head to head in the next coming weeks for this quick first unbox look at what we've got in the low, low end of the bag, helping or looking to help with long irons. Which one do you think will win out of the two? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you all soon.